Why? Because the only way he gets it is because this serviceman standing behind me, senior airman guy, nominated his office. That's the only way they can get the award. So it's not something we bestowed on an employer. It comes from the serviceman and woman themselves. And so without that, you don't get it. But <laughs> since she did, you're about to see what we consider our most prestigious award. As you can see, it's very nice. received this award not as an auditor but as a team member with each and every one of you. Governor, thank you for your comments. Uh, this is received on behalf of the auditor's office. Susan, thank you for the nomination and what you bring to our office. But one thing I do want to do is we support our guard reservists, especially those who are deployed. Susan will be deploying later this week uh, uh, outside of the United States in order for us to remember her and continue to support her and the other men and women who deployed for all of you to work in audit. As you entered the office this morning, you noticed her picture hanging there at our receptionist desk, and underneath it was a blue star. To remind you that for the next six months, we are a blue star office. We have a member of our family from audit who is deployed with our armed services. And I'm going to ask you to join me in thinking about, praying for her and our other airmen who are with the 255th as they are deployed in the coming weeks and months ahead. Again, thank you so much to Employer Sports the Guard and Reserve for what you do to support our men and women in uniform. Thank you for recognizing employers across the state. The governor, your comments and your leadership with our Hire Heroes program. Thank you all so much. It is an honor to be here this morning to be a part of this. I want to thank the audit family for supporting our area. Thank you.